the done gone and had to ruin everything, didn't they? They ruined everything. Hey there, welcome. I'm the man you may know as Ian. We're going to talk a little bit about the, what is it called? Tomb Raider, The Legend of Laura Croft on Netflix. And what a, what an absolute travesty that thing is. So I've only really gotten three episodes in, and she's already cried. I'm going to say four or five times. I do 10-second short reviews of each episode of typically the things that I review. And so far, each episode, I'm just capturing her crying because she likes to cry now. Uh, Osmond Gold has a great take on this, and I'm going to link his video right up here. We're going to watch it in a second because he's they've collated some interesting clips for you. But what I want to know is, well, let's just take a look at this first article here, right? We'll go to Forbes. Tomb Raider, The Legend of Lara Croft Review. How does it compare to its Netflix counterpart? I don't even know what are its counterparts. But you see this here, this Lara Croft. I want to understand when the voice actress, and I'm trying not to be sexist here, folks, but when the voice actress has bigger jubblies than the actual character that she's playing. I think we all know that we have a problem here. There's a problem. She's a very well endowed woman. Yet you've got her. <laughs> what are we doing here? What are we doing? I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't like it. Don't like it at all. Not even a little bit. There's a reason why uh, Agent Carter has a popular. She's popular. She's a fine actress. But she has some other assets. She has a couple of other assets. And Laura Croft has... The, don't you remember what they did to Angelina Jolie? And she was already a big a big woman in, in those particular areas. Anyway, anyway. Great actress. Famed character. And Tomb Raider's just... Eh, it's fine. No, it's boring. And if, for it to be fine, this guy is kind of deluding himself. He said he really couldn't get into it past the first two episodes out of eight as the animation and writing quality just isn't good, really there compared to other work. It's not good. Like, all of anime is substantially better than any of this garbage that they put out. Apparently, on uh, it's got 69% critic score, 60% audience score. It's not good. It's not good. Arca obviously, Arcane is, is more like anime. These are, yeah, this is garbage. It's just not good. And she cries all the time. Uh, and there's uh, other problems too. I, have a, I, I got a, a hint of those other problems because they say that she's a lesbian, but I haven't, I haven't quite gotten there yet. Bear with me if we get an ad on this. It's a very short clip, but uh, apparently, I don't think he watched it. What is it. this? Uh, where are they? Oh, God. Oh god. Where, where are they? Where did they go? Oh. Well, let me see. So, Tomb Raider, how is the reception for this been? It got a 5 out of 10 from IGN. So even IGN didn't like this. Uh how about Metacritic? IGN hey, IGN likes everything. Oh. Oh, this is absolutely terrible. I don't know why they need to constantly butcher classics. This is the worst most boring TV show I've ever watched. Laura is always crying or needs a hug. What happened to strong badass Laura Croft? Don't watch this show, it's a waste of time. Agreed. Laura is now a lesbian. Backstory, tell me more. <laughs> there isn't more. She left me and never looked back. It's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why? Why add this? Why? leave because of you i didn't want you to leave why did you want to leave you never even said goodbye you wanted me to leave <laughs> you didn't leave because you thought i was replacing you if you only let one in now that was a blast we'll take care of it come on man <laughs> first yoga the... <laughs> why did they change this guy the what are they doing the your woman is out of control is this is this real? Is that from Tomb Raider Games, who was explicitly stated to be a ladies' man, has been turned into a flamboyant gay man in Netflix's Tomb Raider series? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're she is you're not constantly like crying all of the time. Fine, it never Jesus stops. Christ. Not strong enough. Laura, it's okay to be sad. 
Isn't Laura Croft known for being a badass, not a crybaby? Uh, goodbye, cartoon breasts. Hello, sweat stains. <laughs> the feminist reinvention of Tomb Raider. Finally, Laura Croft no longer looks like a strong wind would knock her over. Netflix's new animated series reimagines the adventurer with no thought on the male gaze. Yeah, uh, what a surprise. Leave it to a woman to body shame other women. Uh, his take on this is ridiculous. Yes, yeah, so, oh, you can't have... We can never have anything nice. They have to ruin everything. I never even saw the Alicia Vikander version. So I, I'm because I'm not a huge fan of the series. I did play a couple of games. And and the other thing that kind of bugged me is I always thought Lara Croft was pretty based in, in like real archaeology within reason. You know, she's going through all these temples and things trying to find things. I don't remember a lot of supernatural stuff. And so far, it's only been supernatural, weird mumbo jumbo stuff. A Everything's strong magic. gust of wind would knock her over. Would you rather be, you know, like a scarecrow that can be knocked over in like the wind, or would you rather be a boulder? Why don't we make all of them look like boulders, and that way none of them will ever get blown over by the wind? It's always really weird to me whenever I see a show that like actively changes core elements, and then they're surprised, and people are like, wow, nobody likes this. It's like, yeah, anytime that you're going to change something of the source material, something like this for an identity reason, what does that show? That it shows that you don't care about the source material. It shows that you don't care about telling a good story. Precisely. Precisely. You do not care about, you know, even casual fans like myself who don't know, I don't know the Lara Croft lore, but I know what I can see. What's on screen? Is that under boob sweat? Like, what are we looking at here? I don't get this. It just, it's striking. And then to hire Haley Atwell, you're just asking for people to make fun of you. Why would you do that? I don't understand. So yeah, this is like one of those those things that you're just confused as to why they, but a lot of people are going to say, they're going to say Netflix, they did it, Netflix did it. But then nobody wants to watch it. So why buy, and then you end up burying the thing and then you get in this weird doom loop of having to remake the thing every couple of years so you don't lose the rights and you just keep making this poor quality thing that's slowly turned into garbage. And then there's no... Because they, they even said in the credits, based on the character from the Crystal Games franchise or whatever. It's based on the games. The games. And this is what we get. It's nonsensical. Like I said, I watched like three episodes and it is... It's not meh. It's not good. I literally fell asleep during the first episode because I was so bored. I was just like, what am I watching? I'm going to turn this off and go to sleep. And then I went back and watched it. And then she just wouldn't stop crying. I'm like, what is going on here? Stop crying. Get up, woman. You're spo she's supposed to be like cold as ice. She's, the th she's a killer. And here she is crying every other scene. And then getting ready to make out with some whammons. I don't know. Have you seen this? Do you think this is a travesty or is this what you... I mean, this is what we expected, isn't it? Can we please get something good for once? Anyway, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I would be happy to entertain a conversation around this one. Craziness. Thank you for the, uh, the watch, the listen, like, and subscribe. But I'm on to the next one. Thanks for catching the video. Be sure to join our channel to get the education you deserve. Make sure you check out our shorts, live streams, and catch us on all the socials. Don't forget to like and subscribe.